Hello guys, this is Alex and in this uh, review uh, we're gonna talk about uh, one page checkout extension for Magento 2. So uh, I found a great one, it's uh, provided by my Mage Plaza and uh, I'm gonna uh, actually uh, demonstrate how to get it installed and how to get it activated in this uh, tutorial. Before actually I will start installing something, uh, let's quickly discuss why uh, we may want to use this extension. So if we go to uh, website, let's open my uh, website with dummy data and let's uh, try to buy something. For, exa for example, this bag. Okay, let's go to default checkout. So we have uh, default checkout here. Uh, it consists of two steps, shipping, uh, where we will need to fill out uh, shipping details and uh, select shipping method. And the next step is uh, payment and review, where we will need to select payment option and uh, review the order before we click finish. So that's how uh, it works by default in Magento. And I would say that this approach is solid. It consists just of two steps. But uh, of course, uh, we can even easily improve this experience. Uh, personally, I will talk about myself now. For example, I don't buy from, uh, from vendors, from uh, web stores, where I will need to click uh, three or four times during the checkout and will need to uh, provide uh, too much details. And the majority of you uh, will answer the same, I'm almost sure. Uh, we all uh, don't want to spend much efforts or much time for filling out different information, papers, uh, forms, and so on and so on. And uh, according to different investigations, uh, one page checkout could increase uh, number of customers who would buy from you. So, uh, it makes experience uh, easier and uh, effortless. And uh, that's why uh, it's a good extension and it worth to consider. So let's uh, now uh, try to install this extension. Let's uh, make a basic configuration of this extension and let's see how it works. I'm gonna go to uh, their website okay not this one but this one and uh, uh, once once you purchase it uh, they provide full refund so for example if you uh, face some problems uh, they provide support but if you don't like extension for whatever reason they will give you a refund so it's a secure deal uh, and uh, i already have the one and uh, they provided me with uh, extension in a zip folder uh, let me show it to you. I have my extension stored here and extension from Mage Plaza one page checkout. And they send me this uh, folder. So I expect uh, that as long as you buy from them, you will be able to download the same folder. Well, sorry, not folder, but the zip file with uh, different uh, files stored. So I have unzipped it. So it's just zip archive. And as long as you unzip it, it will uh, it will uh, transform to this folder with many files. And there is a user guide how to get this installed. But we don't need it because I will demonstrate. So uh, basically you have the following files and the next step is that you need to do, you need to upload them on your uh, server with Magento installation. So let's do it. I'm gonna uh, open my, my hosting details. Let me select the right server, okay. And I'm gonna open uh, WinSCP application. I personally recommend this application for uh, FTP and SFTP connection. And I will fill out my server credentials here. Okay, and here uh, I will need to go to applications to 
my username and public HTML where I have Magento installed and uh, I will need to copy uh, files extension files uh, to the right destination let's do it so we have this uh, uh, folder with uh, files related to the extension and uh, according to the user guide let's open it we need to store it in the following path so we need to go to e application or app code matchplada osc let's do the same app and as you could see we have no code here so i'm going to create it the next one is going to be Mage Plaza. And finally, the last one is OSC. Let's double check. Okay, it looks fine for me. APP code Mage Plaza OSC. And let's uh, copy all the files in, into this destination. It may take uh, some time, but it really depends on your connection speed. Let's wait a little. Okay, we are done. And now we're ready to uh, move on and to go to the next step. So uh, I'm gonna minimize this application and I'm gonna go to uh, their actually uh, installation guide they have the installation guide I will uh, post the link and uh, in this installation guide they actually have the same step as we currently did we uploaded the files and the next steps that we need to do we need to execute following three commands from the command line so for uh, command line, I use different application. I like party and uh, I'm going to use my server credential once again. Okay. And username and password. I have it here. And the important uh, point here is that uh, from uh, this folder, from the default folder, which appears right after we log in, we need to go to the folder with Magento installation. So in my case, I'm going to go to C type CD, then uh, application, then uh, username, and here public HTML. Okay. And here I will make sure that I am in Magento folder. So I have the Magento files and I'm in the right folder. And now I'm going to execute the command uh, that I need according to the installation guide. So I need to execute the following command. Let's do it. Okay, and now let's execute the other two, one by one. Okay, and the last one. Okay, it seems we are done. So if uh, everything uh, uh, was done in the right way, we should see uh, this extension installed on the backend side of our uh, Magento installation. So let's try to check this. 
I'm going to log into admin panel. With my credentials. Okay, and we have uh, the new icon here, Mage Plaza, and this icon is generic for all uh, extensions uh, made by this vendor, and it actually tells us that we have their core model installed. And from here, let's go to stores, and we have a new option here, one step checkout. So it means that we uh, successfully installed this uh, checkout extension. Now let's go to configuration. And let's scroll down to Mage Plus extension. Let's open it and let's find the, the, the one that we need. We are looking for one step checkout. And here uh, we will need to make just uh, a couple of uh, changes. Let's open general configuration and let's uncheck this uh, option enable one step checkout because currently it says no. Let's uncheck it and let's set to yes. And uh, we need to select shipping method. I will select uh, flat rate. As long as you have a number of options, it will be available for your customer, but you still need to select the default one. And the same for um, payment method. I'm going to select check or money order. Uh, there, there are plenty of other options, for example, display configuration, you can enable gift messages and uh, many more. You can also make minor design changes and uh, very interesting feature is GOIP configuration which uh, will try to detect uh, ge geographical position of your customer and will uh, select uh, the country and uh, other uh, address details appropriately. So that's very interesting feature. Uh, but I'm not gonna dig into the details because uh, I will leave uh, manual and uh, not all of you will need all these options so uh, browse them by yourself uh, as long as you need them but I'm fine with uh, the default configuration and all I need is to uh, enable it and uh, and activate uh, two mandatory options the false shipping method and payment method. So now I'm gonna click save config okay and uh, I'm gonna open uh, my uh, sample website in new window just to avoid any caching problems. But before I will actually uh, do it I forgot to make important step I need to clean cache on the site of Magento. So let's do it let's click flash Magento cache Okay, we are done. And now let's open our website. Let's try again to add something to cart. I'm gonna go to Shop New Yoga. And let's add uh, this watch. It's, uh, it happens because uh, it loads first time all the cache and it may not work properly as expected. But it's okay. Let's try again. Okay, and it works now. And let's go to checkout. And as you could see, we have one step checkout now. Let's wait a little bit. First time it loads uh, more than expected because it will need to create cache. Ok, 
Okay, great. And here is our uh, one-step checkout page, and we have all the information in one page, and uh, it really makes uh, experience for user uh, much more effortless than if they should click uh, a number of times and switch from one step to another. So I really uh, recommend this extension. It's really uh, great, and it, as you could see, it uh, very easy in installation. And uh, there are different plenty options that we haven't reviewed, but uh, you may found them useful. Uh, I will provide uh, the link to the uh, detailed user guide for this extension, so you will be able to review them, all the options, and uh, check whether you need them or not. And finally, one more thing that I would like to display is uh, if we go to system, if we go to it seems outdated outdated page let's go to this one oops I see it, it seems I missed the page so let me relog in again and one more thing that I would like to show let's go to admin area and here let's go to stars and we have one step checkout and here's an option manage fields and uh, for example if you for whatever reason think that you don't need for example company and uh, for example you think that uh, let's say we don't need just company because other looks uh, mandatory to me so let's click save position and if we refresh this uh, page now uh, the company should disappear from here so let's check it okay and there is no company so that's how you could uh, adjust the required fields and uh, you could change the other options so once again I will uh, provide the link for the guidance for the user manual where you can uh, check all the available options but uh, the core functionality is available quickly and uh, it really great experience uh, to use this extension from the admin standpoint and from the user standpoint because all they need to fill out all the things here and click place an order uh, I hope this was useful for you, thanks for watching, uh, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video lessons or reviews.